Hi, welcome to my Arch Merge System GNOME. We're making tutorials for GNOME. And one of the things we've been skipping is the GNOME Tweet Tool, specifically the extensions. So I've just made a tutorial about everything else but the extensions. Now, beforehand, we have already installed some of the things in previous articles. We've installed the Cage Status Notifier Item App Indicator Support. Thanks to that thing, we have here this variety icon and we can sort of change and do our thing with the wallpapers great so that's one thing that's not normal the dash to dock is another thing that's not normal we have if we delete this of delete of not but deactivate it then this dash thing is again hidden and we have to activate it by clicking here or the super key anyway if you want to have a plank like experience then we can have dash to dock have transparency bigger icons smaller dock and all that so it is a replacement for blank if you want so i keep this on like it's always there and if we move in a neighborhood then it knows oh i should move away great so those things are new this is normally off oh, blah, sorry this is normally off like so so this is what's normally set, nothing more. Now, I'm going to take some of these things that I say that are, that's interesting and, and the rest I'll, I'll skip. And in another tutorial, I'll we'll add more GNOME Shell extensions. That's the name you should remember. That's the name you should Google, GNOME Shell extensions. Alt tab is looking now like this. If you want to have another look, Alt tap. And now it's looking like this. There is a deed, indeed a difference. And we can just change the difference as well. Here, thumbnail only, application icon only. So the things can be tweaked a little bit in the way you want it. Fine. That's alternate tab. If you want it, it's there. It's standard installed via GNOME. Application menu, it's this thing. If you want to have this, if you like a menu again, then you have a menu again. All right. Skipping the things that I think are not interesting or that I just plain, plainly do not understand. All right. So that's for moving uh, applications, for instance, Spotify to Workspace 2. You say, okay, I want to have an application moving to. Uh, I moved already this game here to Workspace 3 so that you can add rules and you can find out I uh, don't think yep, Spotify is installed Eric and number two for instance and hopla done Spotify will be launched on Workspace 2 fine if you want that bye bye what else places maybe if you like an overview of your structure, your file manager, which is Nautilus, by the way. Removable drive menu, if you have uh, an external hard disk, a USB, USB maybe, to easily access to mount and unmount things. The window list is interesting. You can have uh, different things open, like so. And you see here the button button we can have we can easily switch between one and the other and you just saw we were on virtualbox so that's also neat you can also change some elements here and have a group group windows probably the best thing to do and workspace indicator up here watch out there's something coming there workspace ah again Ah, click yeah so one workspace one I've changed the name already which was available here had some fun renaming everything so you can make desktop to your game uh, desktop and you just rename it if it will let me it doesn't want me to rename it again minus plus let's see we a is no I can't type anymore. Strange. So I did change it to fun and now 
for some reason I can't type anymore in here. So probably after reboot that will be fixed. What else? So I don't want this either. And then the window navigator. Okay, we're there. So that's what I think is important, what is uh, interesting to have. In the next video, we'll install more extensions. So if this is a new one and Dash to Dock is a new one, and we'll add even more.